All right, guys, I'm recording a video uh, to cover the last 30 minutes or so of class uh, for Friday. Today should be Friday, September 9th, and if you're watching this video, it's because I had to leave early for football. So I am very, very thankful to whoever's in my class right now covering. I want you guys to be on your best behavior. They will do their best to answer any questions you have, but I'm creating this video to uh, basically streamline the process of, of getting you started with this activity. There should be minimal questions because everything I cover in this video should be clear and, and understandable for you guys as you move forward with the activity for the last 30 minutes of class. So first what we're going to do, uh, you guys are always wanting to play games in class. You're wanting to, to get online when I'm not paying attention and play games and I, I feel like I've already stopped that process uh, and that behavior. So I thought I would reward you today with a little bit of a game. Now, every computer in my classroom should be able to follow me. Uh, you should be able to go to the start down here at the bottom, click it with the left mouse button, and as it pulls up, we're going to select all programs. So as you hear my voice, uh, you should be able to follow along. So I'm going to start over, go slow, and make sure you guys can keep up. I'm going to go down to start. I'm going to hit the left mouse button. I'm going to select all programs, and then I'm going to scroll down until I see West Point Bridge Designer 2007. So there I have it highlighted. So what I'm going to have you do is click that. All right, so you just hit the left mouse button one time. And then you're going to click WPBD2007.exe. We're going to click that with our left mouse button. Now, right off the bat, it's going to start giving you tips. The design tip of the day. Did you know you can sort the member list by member number, by member property, or by load test results? So it's, it's going to give you tips. As you cycle through these tips, you're going to get extra information that's going to help you complete this challenge and hopefully beat those students sitting around you. So as I click through, it's going to give me as many tips as I want. Eventually, I'm going to click close and this window pops up. West Point Bridge Designer 2007. I want to create a new bridge design. Do not click load a sample. Do not click open an existing. We go to create a new bridge design and click OK. Once we've done that, the program's going to finish. I had an error, so let's see if I can start it over again. West Point Bridge Designer, go to that. Now it should load up for me. As it pops up, here's my tips. I'm going to click close. OK. Now, the first thing it says is read the design requirement. I want you to read through this carefully. So read through that information. Basically, your challenge is this. To issue you your challenge for this activity, you will design a bridge and you'll test it by sending a truck across it. You're going to test the load of this bridge, what it's capable of holding. If the bridge collapses, it did not work, you need to go back to the drawing board and make adjustments. If it did work and the truck goes successfully across, we're going to check the dollar portion, which will be right here where my mouse is circling, and we're going to write that total down. Whoever builds a bridge that successfully sends a truck across for the cheapest price or the least amount of money, that person will be the winner. Now when you test it, you're going to have your partners next to you verify before you write down. So after we've read this, read the design requirement, I'm going to click next, enter the local contest, blah, blah, blah. We're going to leave it on no and select next. Now here's where we get into some adjustments, deck elevation. We can adjust it, and as I adjust it, if I go from 24 meters down to zero, watch what happens to my bridge in the screen. But for this contest, your requirement is to remain at 24 meters. So at 24 meters, that's the height that you're set at. Then you have a, a choice between standard abutments, remember abutments from the girder bridge, and think about your butt that you sit on. So the bridge sits on these abutments. We're going to select standard abutment or arch abutment. Either one's fine. I don't care. You can actually produce bridges with multiple options. So you can go in here first time through, do standard abutments. Next time through, do arch abutments. But let's say I select standard. Now I can come in and choose to add a pier. I need to send my pier all the way up to 24 meters so it touches or I can go no pier. I can add cable anchorages or I can have no cable anchorages. So after I'm done with my selections here at the bottom it says site cost for the standard abutment it starts out at 55,000. If I select arch abutments it starts out at 76,000. Now the question is which one is going to provide the more bang for the buck, the more value for you. Let's just select standard for now just for the example. Now medium strength concrete 
or high strength concrete. Notice the price down at the bottom. For medium strength, we're at 55000 For high strength, we jump up to 71000 So that's up to you. All right, you have to weigh the options. And this gives you a design tip to the right that might provide you some useful information when you're reading it. Now, everybody's going to select the standard truck, the standard 180 KN truck. That's what we're looking for. We click Next. Now we get to choose from some different options here. As we choose these different options, we're going to select what type of bridge we want to build. So you can choose any of these. If you would have chosen an arch abutment, you would have different choices altogether. Let's say we select the How Deck Truss. I'm going to click Next. Design by, you can enter your name. Click Next. Now I'm going to draw the members. This gives me basically a, a detailed list of what I'm going to do. I'm going to click the Finish button, draw the joints, draw the members, run the test load, strengthen any members, optimize the design, and for more information, click Help. So I'm going to click Finish. Now everywhere I see a circle, if I click this circle command, that's going to select a spot to draw a joint. So notice I put some extra ones there. Let's say I missed my mark. I have to go in and draw all the ones that are not darkly drawn. So these up here, they're good. I don't have to draw those, they're already drawn. So now I'm going to click the erase tool just like we would in AutoCAD. I'm going to erase, erase, erase. Now I'm going to click the line tool. Now with the line tool you have options. Carbon steel, high strength low alloy, quenched and tempered steel. You can go solid bar or hollow tube. And then you have size requirements or size options. So let's say I go carbon steel, solid bar, and I start with 500 millimeters. When I draw this across, I click the left mouse button, I hold it until I get to the desired location, and I release. Notice how thick those lines are. Now if I go down to, say, 110, as I go across, it's going to be a lot more thin. If I go from carbon steel to quenched and tempered steel, and you may need to look those up on Google to determine which one's stronger and what the strongest substances are there for you. But as I go through and, and click the rest of these lines by left clicking with the mouse, dragging to the desired point and releasing, I'm going to fill in the rest of them. Now you cannot test your bridge until every line that it gives you has been filled in completely. So now that I'm good, I'm going to click this, load your test, your current design, load test your current design, left click, and failure. So clearly I did something wrong. Now when I hit the escape key, I come back. And everything in red is a suggestion that that is an error. So I'm going to erase. I'm going to come in, add a stronger substance. And I'm going to load the test again. And it fails again. So I'm going to hit escape. Now it's telling me that this blue line was questionable but it wasn't completely at fault for the failure. Some other things may have factored in. If it's red, if it indicates red, that's telling you that that is the main reason why it failed. So I'm going to go across with something thicker here at the bottom. I'm going to load the test. Now the truck safely drives across. Now here's my problem. My total cost is one million and some change. That is not good. So I have to find a way to make this bridge cheaper. So I hit the escape key again. I come in. Let's erase these very heavy lines that indicate a very thick substance. Now that they're erased, I'm going to use something that's a little smaller. Notice my budget now is down to 415000 Now I'm at 594000 I load the test. The truck goes across. Now I'm going to continue to make reductions in cost any way I can. So as a builder, you have to find a way to cut cost but still produce a safe and uh, high quality product. So I'm going to go back in, hit escape, and go back through with the erase command, erase, 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 and find ways to make the bridge strong and stable yet less expensive. So monitor your cost here after the bridge is successfully built and the truck travels across it and you get to this screen have a neighbor come by and verify that the truck is going across check the total budget write it down and let's find out in the class who can build the cheapest bridge that still successfully supports the truck remember if you try truss 
abutment and it's very expensive and not working for you, go back in and change things. Start over. Go to File, New Design. Do you want to save the changes? I don't have to. And then I'm going to go back through and maybe this time I select an arch abutment. All right. So complete this activity. It should take you 25 to 30 minutes. Adjust. Make adjustments. Make adjustments. Don't continue in the same pattern and have a high total here. All right. The winner should be somewhere around $200,000 or less. So toy around with the program. If you have any questions, you can upload this video from the K Drive, get some headphones, re listen to it, and then start the process. So I hope that was clear. If you have any questions, ask whoever's covering my class. I'm sure they'll be glad to help you. Be on your best behavior. They will take notes. If they give me a name, I will refer you to the office. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Hope to see you at the game tonight and have a great weekend. Take care.